Let's have a look at respiration in humans. We will take a close look at the respiratory system that is responsible in humans for respiration to take place. We know that the human body is comprised of many different organs, but each and every organ has a specific function. Similarly, for the respiratory system, organs like the nose, the nasal passage or the nasal cavity, the bronchi, lungs, and diaphragm are all vitally important. Air, by the process of breathing in, inhalation as we refer to it as, is drawn in by the nose or nostrils. It's carried through the nasal passage or nasal cavity, which is lined by fine hair and mucus for trapping any dirt or particles or impurities. This enables the clean air to go into the lungs. The part of the throat between the mouth and the windpipe or trachea is called the pharynx. From the nasal passage, air enters the pharynx and goes into the trachea or the windpipe. Trachea is supported by a soft ring of bones called the cartilage. It is a continuation of the nasal passage and it bifurcates or divides into two smaller tubes called the bronchi. These are connected to the lungs and lie in the chest cavity and are separated from the abdominal cavity by a muscular partition called the diaphragm. The lungs are enclosed in a rib cage that is made of bones or what we refer to as ribs. Each bronchus divides in the lungs to form a large number of smaller tubes called bronchioles. These have tiny air sacs at their ends called alveoli. Imagine looking at a cauliflower where you have the tiny bronchioles branching out which are the florets in a cauliflower. Within them inside it are tiny air sacs. These are the alveoli. The walls of these alveoli are very thin and surrounded by tiny blood capillaries. It's in the alveoli that gaseous exchange takes place. If you have a look at the diagram, it shows how the nostril and the mouth through which air can enter goes down via the pharynx and the windpipe into the bronchus which basically branches out into the bronchioles and at the end of the bronchioles are these florid like structures called the alveoli. These are all enclosed within the lung. The alveoli is actually connected by tiny minute blood capillaries that actually carry the air or the oxygen to all the parts of the body. The diaphragm which is a muscle helps to protect the lungs. How does or what does take place when we breathe in air? The oxygen gets trapped in the alveoli which is surrounded by millions of blood capillaries. It diffuses out from the alveoli into the blood through the blood capillaries. The blood contains a red pigment called hemoglobin that carries oxygen. As the blood passes through the tissues of the body, the oxygen present in the blood diffuses into the cells. This oxygen combines with glucose that comes in from the digested food to release energy. Carbon dioxide, which is the end product, diffuses out from the cells into the blood and is carried back and released through the nostrils. This process of inhalation and exhalation takes so fast that there is ample time for the oxygen to dissolve in the blood as it's absorbed into the cells and then utilized for its purpose and expelled as carbon dioxide. Breathing is an involuntary action because we do not force ourselves to breathe, it comes naturally. The, the rate of breathing is controlled by the respiratory system of the brain. In a human, the average breathing rate is 15 to 18 times per minute. It may increase with the activity of the cells that require more oxygen as we go around running or doing some strenuous exercise. 
If there is a deficiency in the red pigment that carries oxygen, namely hemoglobin, it results in breathing problems and the person then shows sign of weakness, fatigue and looks pale and loses weight. A gas like carbon monoxide has the affinity to mix with hemoglobin freely in the blood and prevent the transport of oxygen. Due to this process, the person can die to the lack of oxygen. I hope you have enjoyed the presentations. If you'd like to see more presentations, you can always visit us on our website at www.arrangeacademy.com. Furthermore, for a subscription, you could always check us out on Facebook at www.facebook.com slash academy. You can subscribe to us also on our YouTube channel at www.youtube.com slash c slash Academy. Thank you.